Mr. Stark's last known location is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. Never heard of it. He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. With your research there, I have marked the location on the war table. Check out the fancy drawbridge. Uh, typical. Subtle tone. After you. I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. <sighs> Me neither. Looks like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? I can break the locks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. We should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <sighs> yeah, great idea. Do <laughs> yourself. More rocks? No problem. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Jump just a little farther this time. <laughs> Made it. Still waiting on that bridge, Kamala. Uh, it's stuck on something. Oh, is it jammed? Hang on, I think I got it. Calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four. I 
can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, well, this is quiet. Yeah. It was. I... Oh. Hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emerald Eye friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, oh. and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day, and that bastard Tarleton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I changed that. Son of a... I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's, there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh, no. We gotta get out of here. You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. 
Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all, no, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. you, Bruce. Me, Grandpa, I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Uncle Rob, war hero. Thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. Ah! 
You always love to make an entrance. Stark, how did I know you? Uh, I'll give you a seven out of ten. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? You like any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey, you're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton. This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? Charlton controlling these machines. I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you and Fanny together again. Well, Brucey and I are seeing something about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing past. Introduce you to what I like to call Techno Kings. Catchy! Rolls right off the tongue! Says he'll let you. No, I got this. Watch. Wait, you're not ready for. Or maybe you are. You're choosing sides in a battle you don't fully understand. I chose my side five years ago. You showed up and forced my hand. Give me the girl, and you and Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the word right out of my mouth. Still putting the weak in danger. You never learn. Weak? Is that why you sent an army to take her down? Right? It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. Incoming! You heard Dr. Banner's testimony, Stark. The Avengers were dangerous. I wasn't the one who ordered you to be dissolved. Flatter yourself. I barely lifted a finger. So the kid's right? 
You're mind melding with robots now? to listen to logic and reason. Why start now? Wait! No! Stuff was in there! How are you feeling? I've never felt better. Your synthetics were useless. If you'd let me deal with the Hulk and Khan earlier, the Archive would still be standing. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. 